yeah! Woo! Welcome to another edition of the Blazing Beard Bulls Blog. And well, winning does help some things, but the drama, ladies and gentlemen, the drama, the worst relationship that you have ever had, that's what it's like every single day inside LeBron's head. It's like your worst seventh grade girlfriend, your worst seventh grade boyfriend, the most manic, the guy that's got to like sit on the bench and be like, yeah, now that he's fired because you know I'm the guy making all these decisions. You know for a fact that LeBron pulled that plug like he's pulled the plug. That doesn't mean Blatt was a coach. He was not. But a big game by the Bulls tonight to take that. Oh, the NBA just wanted to see the Cavs win tonight. And oh, glory, glory, Lord have mercy. It's suddenly a rebirth. You know what? They don't have it. They don't have the right habits. And the Bulls do not have the right habit a lot. But tonight, you don't want to dig yourself out of too big a hole. And that was the key. Bulls are digging themselves a hole. Uh, uh, like the grave diggers all season long. We did not dig ourselves a huge hole. And Taji Wu with the goggles like the blazing beard. That's right, man. He came out. He played a solid game. Don't ever change the goggles. Just like Derrick Rose. Don't ever put the mask back on, man. Look, coaching has got to get better. You need to see Bobby Portis more. You need to see Etwan more, more. You know that. 007 more. Pop, pop, pop. But this is a good game by the Bulls tonight because fuck the Cavs. Always and forever. Oh, oh my, what did I say? That's right. I said fuck the Cavs. Always and forever. So, from my Bulls bots, Crow T Robot and Tom Servo, I'm talking about Nikola Miritich even woke up? Hey, not a bad Saturday. Peace, y'all. Bulls and the Cavs. Always and forever.